Good evening and welcome to a very unusual Scarborough Athletic end of season awards night. Many thanks to everyone who's put this together and I can honestly say I don't know how you do it but I'm very grateful that you have so thank you. The season may have been expunged from the records but it will certainly live long in our memories for many reasons and there is certainly much to celebrate. First allow me to look back at the season that never was. It's fair to say that our season got off to a frustrating start all the way back in August. After all the excitement of opening the new Adversett stand, which I hope you'll agree has certainly improved our stadium, we played out a draw against Buxton when we were rescued by a last minute goal from Jack Johnson. We then had a brief flirtation with the FA Cup by beating our regular cup opponents, Mask United, and then being knocked out by Southport of the National League North. Our involvement in the trophy didn't even last that long, as we were knocked out at the first hurdle by Atherton. And the same applied to the League Cup, when on an awful night we were happily beaten by Dunstan. Our league form continued to frustrate, as we drew our first six home fixtures, and by October we'd only won one league game away at FC United. At the end of October, we started a run of six consecutive defeats, which resulted in us making the decision to change our manager. I thanked John for his efforts and we looked for his successor. We appointed Darren the following week and his first match in charge couldn't have been a bigger one as Whitby Town visited the Flamingo Land Stadium. We won the game 2-1 with goals from James Walshaw and Connor Thompson. It certainly felt like the good times could be on their way back. Our league form continued to improve over the coming months, with Wally back scoring regularly and some amazing goals coming from Ryan Watson's right boot. In fact, by the end of the season we were rightly one of the form teams in the league. Our final league game was away at promotion chase in Baseford United, where we won 1-0 thanks to a first half goal from Wally and a last gasp run was saved from Tommy Taylor. When the league season was stopped, we were about to play Mask United again in the semi-final of the North Riding Sini Cup for a place in the final at the Riverside which could possibly have been against York City. I'm pleased to say the County FA have decided that this competition will be completed when football returns, so that's something to look forward to. No one wanted this season to end, but when it did, we all understood why it had to. For us, like most football clubs across the country, it presented us with a massive financial headache. I've said many times over recent weeks that when the times are hard, you find out who your friends are. Well, we certainly found out that our football club has many friends, locally, nationally and all around the world. With the help of our players, the Valley Bar Sea Dogs, the supporters club, individual contributions and the support of our virtual matches, I can now say with confidence that we will soon be in a position to pay all our debts and start looking towards our future. Thank you to everybody that has contributed towards saving our club. To fully secure that future, can I ask you, if you are able to, please sign up to the Borough Draw at a cost of £5 a month. This is the best way to ensure the club has the monthly income we need to cover our fixed costs, while we have no other money coming in. As we've seen so far, we're all in this together. We will succeed together and we look forward to the day when we're all together again at the Flamingo Land Stadium. Sadly, one person who will not be joining us is a life member and past president John Fawcett who sadly passed away recently. As well as his service to our club, he was also a great servant of our predecessor Scarborough FC. And one of his proudest moments was being chairman when we beat Stafford Rangers at Wembley back in 1976 to win the FA Trophy. Shortly before lockdown, I met him for a coffee and his passion for football was as big as ever. When the time is right, his family are arranging a memorial service and we'll announce the details once we have them. A lot of hard work has gone into this season. Football matches don't just happen. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all our volunteers, our sponsors, our players, our staff and last but not least my fellow directors who have worked tirelessly all season and still are. So now it's time to celebrate the football and our on-field heroes. 
The season may have been expunged, but as I said earlier, we've lots to look back on and celebrate. So please enjoy our first, and hopefully our last, virtual awards night. Thank you. Good evening, um, I hope you're all keeping safe and that yourselves and your families are all well. Um, I'd first I'd just like to start by saying thank you to the, the, the club and the volunteers really for putting on this um, virtual end of season awards. Um, I know I'll be tuning in on Saturday so it's nice that, that as players, staff uh, and supporters we, we can all look back on, on the season that's just gone. Um, I know I'll be, it's, it's ended prematurely but it's, it's still nice. Um, I'm delighted to receive this award, um, second year in a row that I've won it for the club, um, so it's, it's a real honour. Um, I do always set myself a personal target at the start of the season um, and finishing top goal scorer is one of those targets, so it's, it's nice that that's been achieved. Um, just reflecting on the season then, um, I think we're all well aware that we didn't get off to the best of starts, which, which prompted the club to change management. Um, Darren came in, was, was a breath of fresh air, um, changed, changed the formation, um, tweaked, tweaked a few things here and there and, and performances really did pick up. Um, with them performances, obviously results, we were getting the results um, and, and scoring goals which is, is always nice for a striker to be involved in. Um, on a personal level it would have been nice to finish the season and see how many goals I could have finished up with. Um, but there's nothing we can do about that. Um, and then lastly, just um, from a, a fundraising perspective, um, I know obviously there's been, there's been various things that have been available uh, from the club, um, virtual match days, um, and, and supporters have been, have been running all kinds of events. So just a big thank you from me, um, and I hope you, enjoy, you all enjoy your evening. Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Um, just going over this Player of the Year award. Um, so difficult. I've actually had a few days to stew on it and I think I finally got there. But I want to thank the players for everything they've given since I've come in. They've been outstanding. Everything I've asked for, they've given and more. Um, and I, I, I can't sing their praises enough. Um, and again, I can't work to, to work with them. Hopefully end of June pre-season will start up um, as normal again. But as I say, the players have been absolutely outstanding since I've come in. Um, more so, it just adds to this difficult, difficult decision and Player of the Year award. Um, but I've, I've finally come up with someone. I've come up with someone who, when I come in, I know before they didn't really cement a place in the team. They were in and out of the side. But as I say, since I've come in, um, they've been absolutely outstanding. Um, but my Player of the Year award goes to Ryan Watson. Ryan, um, he, he's been superb since I've come in. You look at the set pieces, the goals he's scored. Um, and as I say, as everybody else has contributed in terms of the energy, the commitment, the desire, the work ethic, that everybody's just been outstanding. Um, but I've gone for Ryan Watson um, on the Player of the Year. Well done, Ryan. Good work. Well done. Hi everyone, just another quick message. I uh, just want to thank Gaffer, Darren Kelly for voting for me for um, Manager's Player of the Year award. Obviously it's a special award, um, feel humbled and, and grateful to receive it off him. Um, it's been a pleasure to play with that group of lads, we've got a great group. Obviously I couldn't have done it without them guys. 
Uh, so thanks to everyone. Cheers. Hi everyone again, um, I just want to thank all players uh, that voted for me, the Players Player of the Year Award, uh, another special award, um, shows how popular with lads in the dressing room, um, so yeah, just want to say what an honour it's been to play alongside you all this season, um, we've had some good times and some not so good times but we've always pulled through and stuck together and that I'm grateful for, so cheers boys. Hi everyone, just a quick message to all the Sea Dog fans that voted for me for Supporters Player of the Season Award. It's been an absolute honour and privilege to put that shirt on uh, and play in front of you all week in, week out. Uh, the noise that you make and the atmosphere that you create on match days, it's just incredible. Uh, so thanks for, your, thanks for your continued support. Special mention to uh, Josh Smith AMP as well. Uh, yesterday for me, uh, for my bottle of gin that you sent me for my birthday. Brilliant is that, guys. Cheers. Hi there, Ant Taylor here, um, part of the Valley Bar Sea Dogs Committee. Um, I've been asked to um, present our um, Player of the Season for all the away games. And um, first of all, I do want to say thank you for everybody. Um, that have become members of the Valley Bar Sea Dogs. Um, it will continue next season, and um, you know, thanks for all the fans that have joined us on our away games this season. Some of them have been some amazing away games. Um, not so amazing away games on some of them, but um, the fans have always stayed loyal and been behind the team. So um, I do want to thank that um, for all the fans for there. Um, so we'll go on to our award. It's um, been a tough decision, but obviously. Um, We've gone with the um, fans. There's been a lot of um, candidates for this um, award, um, but there has been one standout player that's come out of this as well. So um, I'll do a little tiny drum roll. And the winner for the Valley Bar Sea Dogs is Tommy Taylor. There, thank you very much, Tommy, for um, all you have done this season for us, and obviously the seasons before then, um, an ever present um, player in the team and a role model to the youngsters of Scarborough as well um, so that's probably why you've um, become our um, number one choice being the number one goalkeeper so thank you very much and long may it continue until next season guys um, up the borough and all that no battle no victory stay safe and um, hope to see you all next season sorry about my tie it's been a hard day at work <laughs> Hi guys, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone at the Valley Bar Sea Dogs. Uh, your support's been absolutely fantastic all season and I hope I get to see you again very soon.
been left in there by Reyes for Kalinski, trying to get ahead onto it. I've noticed a few defenders do still for the uh, for Reyes for the favour. Oh! And there we go, final whistle. With a Tom Taylor save. How oh, oh, best to do that? Tom Taylor did really well to save that, because he got a bit of a deflection off the scout of the play. We don't have a contested corner, and um, congratulations. Hi guys, I just want to say a massive thank you for the award. It's an absolute honour to win it for the third time on the bounce. And it's a shame obviously we can't be together tonight, but I hope you're all staying safe and I hope to see you all very soon. Morning all, just a quick message to um, announce the Scarborough Athletic Under-19 Player of the Season. Uh, this player uh, progressed massively towards the end of the year. Um, he came on leaps and bounds, showed a great attitude and he's only going to get better and hopefully when we get back to football next season he can keep progressing and show the abilities he's got at a better stage. So the player that is the under-19 player of the season is Connor Avison. Well done Connor. Hello, I've just been notified by Martin Dowie that I've won the Under-19 Scarra Athletic Player of the Year, which I'm very grateful for. Uh, I'd like to thank Denny Ingram and Ryan Blot, my managers, for travelling away and their dedication to make every single one of us better players. I'd also like to thank my fantastic teammates uh, for making this year amazing and this possible. Thank you. Hi everyone, greetings from Costa del Slingsby. I hope you're keeping good and well in these difficult times. I hope you're spending good quality family time together, um, especially until we get rid of this horrible, horrible virus. Um, it was just a message really that I wanted to send some thanks. Um, since I've come into the club, you know, people have been, have been absolutely amazing. So I wanted to take this time to, to, to show my gratitude um, for that. Um, I look at uh, obviously the commercial sponsors, you know, when you come in, one of the things that when you go into a stadium and, and you see sponsorship boards everywhere, it, I think it shows a really good togetherness, you know, club and local businesses, you know, getting behind the team and, you know, when you come in and you see that, it's absolutely brilliant. So I want to thank our commercial sponsors for that and hopefully you can, can continue to do it for a long time. I want to thank our board. Our board have been great again since they've come in, uh, gone above and beyond anything I've needed. Um, they've been on the other end of the phone. They've been, they've been absolutely brilliant. So I thank you, the board, for that. I wanted to thank the staff again since they've come in. They've been so helpful. They've gone above and beyond anything I've needed. Um, they, they've been absolutely first class and a credit to work with. And I thank you for that. Um, I want to thank the players. The players been, have been absolutely outstanding to work with. I really can't thank them enough. You know, literally when you, you go out on a match day and you cross that white line, it's up to them. They leave their bodies in the line. Um, I think it's to play a big part in that because they encourage and, and really ramp up the noise to get behind the team. Uh, but the players have been absolutely first class to work with. And, I can't help but think with obviously the league officially being cancelled last week of where we could have ended up. Um, you know, again, uh, we'll, we'll never know the answer to that. Um, but they've been a truly remarkable group to work with. So thank you to the players. I also wanted to thank obviously our supporters, unbelievable, um, to say the very least. You know, again, them times when the chips were down and the team needed that little voice, that 12th man, the supporters have produced every single time. You know, you're an absolute credit to your football club. Amazing people, I'm getting to know you as we go along, but thank you for the support. It's been unbelievable. Also, seeing on social media, the posts of positivity, that's what we need at this stage, you know, because there's been such negativity with this horrible, horrible virus. Keep posting the, the, the times gone by, so there's some motivating to see that, you know, the times where the, the, the club was so successful, you know, and, and it's so motivating because I want to bring them times back. 
you know, again, with, with you playing your part and me playing my part, the players playing their part, the board playing their part, the commercial sponsors playing their part, the volunteers, everybody playing their part. I believe we can go and create something very special here. Um, also, just wanted to thank, the, you know, the, the like of the volunteers, like your Martin Dows and media, um, the secretaries, you know, the people who do the club shops, um, all them people absolutely amazing the work you do doesn't go unnoticed and I want to show my gratitude and my thanks to every single one of you for that um, I can't wait till the season started I'm, I'm motivated and ready to go again a lot of that's down to you guys and, and the love you have for the club but I can't wait to have a lot of preparation everything done for the new season when that may be who knows um, but we will be ready for that um, but in the meantime, obviously your health is the most important. So in the meantime, you stay safe, you stay well, um, and hopefully we'll see each other soon. But in the meantime, God bless, stay safe, and take care. Goodbye.